What's good ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael and today I'm going to teach you how to attract and retain the woman of your dreams. Now if you know me personally, you know I haven't had a girlfriend in a while, but I feel like I could provide a lot of help in this video, so let's get into it. Many of you probably know by now that women are attracted to men of power, men with social status, money, and good looks. And a lot of you will bicker and complain. Nah, 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 nah. That's bullshit. They want the perfect guy. I don't do that with them. I'm done with women. But before we get to that point, I want to first look into why they find men of power attractive in the first place. If a man has social status, it means he has sympathy, he has good communication skills, he has connections. That's a good thing. If a man has money, it typically means that at one point or another, he has substantially contributed to his society. Think about it. If I ask you for $100 right now, and I'm not going to pay you back, what are the odds that you're going to give me 100 bucks? It's very slim. Because you only buy things that you need or you really want. So money typically flows towards where value is being provided in that society. And a man that has good looks, you can't change your face, but you can change your body. If you are athletic, if you at least look like you lift, that means you care about the way you're being presented towards other people. That you care about yourself, that you can invest in yourself. So ultimately what it comes down to is these three attractive attributes are making you a better man. So instead of complaining about them wanting the perfect man, you should try to be the best version of yourself possible, not for them, but for you, because it will carry over to every discipline of your life. It'll make you more attractive for a spouse, sure, but it will also attract other people in your life that will be naturally drawn towards you, that will want to be around you. Now it's true. You could have social status, money, and good looks, and still not be attracting women. And I think the next thing to tackle here is, are you listening to what the person has to say, or are you just hearing the words that are coming out of their mouth? How many times have you asked somebody a question and actually wanted to know the answer? I'll give you an example. A lot of you, when they first meet somebody, will say, oh, how are you? To which they respond, good. There's nothing wrong with that, but you're asking the question out of general etiquette and politeness rather than wanting to know the actual answer. It's a scripted conversation that's predictable. It's the exact same person to person. I don't care how the weather is. I can look that up. And that's why people dread small talk. If you want to differentiate yourself and you actually care about the person you're talking to, you could say it is something to the effect of, are you actually good or is that your default answer? Make strong eye contact when you say it. Be genuine and wait for a response. There's going to be a silence. And that silence is a good thing because in their head, without realizing it, they're like, oh shit, that's not a part of the script. I've never been asked that before. And that's going to differentiate you from everybody else and create a genuine person-to-person -person interaction versus this monotone, almost robotic transaction of words with with one another so if you're dating a girl and she tells you that her sister's birthday is on friday she wants you to remember that her sister's birthday is on friday is it silly maybe but that's not the point the point is that you care that you're listening to everything she says no matter how insignificant it may seem women are attracted to men of power because it inspires and empowers them at the exact same time. You have goals, ambitions, things going on in your life where they don't have to babysit you and be preoccupied worrying about you, but instead they're inspired by you. They're trying to live up to this level of standard that you've set for the both of you. And if you genuinely care about the person, they're comforted, they're put at ease this environment will now facilitate them to be the best version of themselves. So the common saying of, oh, you just have to be confident and be yourself, couldn't ring any more true. 
This has just been a more elaborate explanation of it. They don't want a circus monkey or someone jumping through hoops trying to be who they think they want them to be. But somebody who's got things going on in their life that's, that's going places and have them there to supplement their life, not somebody that they need there.